So here is the big part. We have the nuts here or bolts here with the plastic covers. One more layer cardboard inside this box. Basic manual, nothing interesting here. And let's go and check the battery cell. I like the handle because the Renault didn't have like this fabric one. This is pretty damn nice. The Renault was 100 amp holes. This is somebody did test this and it's giving 105 amp holes. So I maybe drop this to the battery store to get tested out with the professional tools. I don't have any battery testers, but I, I would love to get like professional tool tested. plastic covers and the posts are color coded there is something like what they pour here and black and uh, red and black and the price price was 199 euros free shipping I like the manual it, it looks and feels pretty solid like it's not like paper paper it's like the real manual paper little bit thicker paper uh, PMS cut off how you can you need to just take the connections away and wait 30 minutes There's a lot of information here and they have the estimated battery capacity here so when we are going under 13 volts, then it's basically 50% or less. I think this case has more free space. That is why it's bigger than Renofi. Or I can remember wrong. But yeah, 10 kilograms for 100 amp hour is pretty damn good. I am pretty, pretty damn happy with that because the AKM battery that we did run, like testing, it's it's the weight of the AKM is something like 28 kilograms for 100 amp holes, and then you, if you know about the capacity issues and so on, what you how much you can discharge the AKM versus how much you can discharge this one and and everything. We did run the Renoki 100 amp hour with the Hoppy, and it it was really like overkill with the 410 watt solar panel on the on the roof of the camper trailer, and then. 100 amp hour <coughs> lithium battery we never ever did have any problems the battery was basically all the time full even when the spring sun was a little bit lower than normally during the summer in Finland but still it was we did watch the TV, we did use the lights, we did charge the phones, battery power, uh, power banks and everything so no issues the battery was always like almost full at least with this we are going to have a little bit less po uh, solar panel power, but I think it's going to be pretty much good. The pool quality looks fine, I'm just thinking like the boat use or something, I don't know did they glue at this or anything like this seam here, there is the top side and the bottom side of the case, or can you get the water inside from here, 
because that is the major issue with the boat use when you your pilke pump or something fails and your boat starts filling with the water I don't see any way to the water go inside from here so the only way basically inside is from the the seam at the top but there is one tear down video also available from this one especially for this battery so I can link that in the description if you want to see the tear down I'm not going to te tearing this down because this is going to be used and yeah I don't sorry it's not sponsored video or anything so I did pay full 200 euros for this and it did take something like one week to arrive that is back from the battery shop and couple days testing, charging, discharging, testing the capacity and everything this did give us 100 amp hours so it's basically what they did promise that is way that the Renoku did give us the 105 amp hours and this is giving 100 amp hours so Renoku did go over the capacity what they did say but so far, I'm pretty damn happy with that one. Uh, yeah, what I can say, if you get those batteries, you can get those from the link in the description. I maybe put the affiliate link there if I can find one, because why not? If you can get the battery for 199 euros and I get like 1% commission, then it would be nice. Uh, but overall, all these LAN power and Renogi batteries and everything, if you have batteries of what can test those, I highly highly recommend doing that because most of us we don't really have the hardware to deep test those batteries so to say like discharge, charge those and see how much the ampers are going through and everything like that and how the protection systems are working and the BMS is it working or not like they say it's working so at least so will be working so if you have the batteries up nearby you and they do the battery testing, I would highly recommend. It's costing something like 20 or one, 10 euros or 20 euros here. So I'm not, I'm not like skipping that part because it's just like if they can spot any errors before you install the battery and you contact the Renoki or the LAN power or whatever brand battery you are getting, uh, then they can replace that under warranty or fix the issue or anything. Basically, if they test those, but anything can happen during the delivery or or anywhere basically. 